so let's take a look at this problem. We want to solve for x. We have e to the x minus 6e to the negative x equals 1. Um, this one you can basically turn into a quadratic and solve it. I'm going to multiply both sides by e to the x. Alright, so what's e to the x times e to the x? You got, remember, you multiply, uh, you add exponents together. So x plus x is 2x, so we get e to the 2x. You get negative 1x plus 1, so that adds up to 0, and e to the 0, or anything to the 0 power, is always 1. So just minus 6 times 1, or just 6. And e to the x times 1 is just e to the x. I'm going to move everything to the same side. So let's subtract e to the x from both sides. Now if you kind of look here, it looks like a quadratic. Um, you know, the ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. But since we already have an x in the equation already, I'm going to make it z. It's really a z squared plus b times z plus c equal zero. And z is going to be equal to e to the x. Alright, so that's so let's substitute that in. We get e to the two x, that's really z squared. E to the x is just z. And we get our constant equal zero. All right, so let's uh, factor this. So we need two numbers multiplied together to give you negative six. We have to add up to negative one. That's the coefficients of the b and c term. Um, so let's look at. We can do one times six to give us six, but that doesn't add up to negative one. Two and three. Um, that will work is only one apart. Um, since this is negative, one has to be negative and, and one has to be positive. And negative number has to be the bigger number. So that's just to be three. Two's gonna go here. So z is gonna go here. And z over here. So you got z plus two times quantity z minus three equals zero. I'm going to set each so each uh, quantity to zero. So let's subtract two here. So z is equal to negative two. Add three over here. Z equals three. We said z equals e to the x, so we're really saying that e to the x equals negative 2. And over here, e to the x equals 3. So now we need to solve for x to actually get the right value. Now when you have a value in the exponent, you want to take the log of both sides to get it out of the exponent. So I'm going to take the natural log of e to the x equal to the natural log negative 2 natural log of e to the x equals natural log of 3 now for here we can't take a log of a negative number so that means that uh, this won't work so here we're going to use our power rule and move the x out front here. So now from here we can solve for x by dividing both sides by natural log of e. Actually, natural log of e is equal to 1, because the base of natural log is e. e to the first power is equal to e. So it's really just x is equal to natural log 
of 3.